Welcome back to the studio, and I'm sitting here this time with Andy Hewlett. How are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. It's, Bit <laughs> it's such an honor to have you here. We, we've been having some great interviews, and I'm looking forward to this one too. We're going to talk about the indoor music games, but before Excellent. we're going to do that, I want to just shortly introduce your, uh, you a little bit. Uh, you, you marched in DCI in 1983 and 1984. Now I'm, now I'm telling the viewers your age. <laughs> uh, but you were saying that some of the people that you marched with from the Alliance of Greater Boston are watching also. They're, they've tuned into the webcast. That's right, yes. Back in 1983, I'd say I marched with a corps called Alliance in, in Boston at a great time. Uh, one of those things I'll always remember. Made mm -hmm. some good friends. And I'm pleased to say some of them were watching uh, the Saturday although I think it's still this, this morning for them over there. It is. So uh, hello to Debbie and uh, everybody at Alliance. <laughs> uh, hope you all remember me. <laughs> See you later. And then, and then you went on to March 27 Lancers and now you're heavily yeah. involved for uh, many years already with DCE. So uh, DCE came up with an idea uh, of the indoor music games. Yes, and It's a new games, idea yeah. that's going to happen. Is. Uh, this year already? Well, it's sort of new and it's sort of old. Uh, when DC first started back in the early 2000s, it actually started as an indoor show yeah. and ran for a couple of years on that basis, mm -hmm. but was so successful that uh, it soon went outdoors to mm -hmm. what you see here uh, this That's afternoon. It's a great thing. Yeah. But then, um, for the last couple of years, we've been looking at ways of getting more people involved in drum corps and more people getting drum corps going again because we want to see more corps, more people involved in them. So we looked at a concept called Sound Sports, which, uh, as you say, has been pushed in the last couple of years uh, by DCI. John and Denovi. Denovi. John Denovi. Let's say hi to Hello, him too. John. Please, yeah. <laughs> um, done a great job, and it's really taken off all over the world. They've had contests in Guatemala, uh, China, all over the place. Mexico, I think, was the last one they had. And it's really successful. And what makes it so interesting, it's that much more obtainable for people. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go out with horn lines of sort of four or five, I think is the minimum that you can have. And I think there's a maximum of 50 anyway. Mm -hmm. So, and it, they're normally held in a much smaller arena, can be indoors, can be outdoors, can be summer, can be winter. And that way people can enjoy drum corps, participate in it, uh, without having the financial uh, demands that uh, the big corps that you see here this evening have. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what sound sport is. Now, how does that translate into the indoor music games? Well, we held a sound sport show in Bristol, in England, mm -hmm. uh, in March, which was a big success. And uh, Dan Acheson and John Donovi both came over for that and it was great to see them um, over this side of the Atlantic. And uh, following that, uh, we looked at the concept of what we were doing there and what the feedback we got from the groups that competed. Mm -hmm. And the feedback was that the concept was great, uh, smaller drum core, etc., much more obtainable. But some groups wanted a little bit more than the uh, gold, silver and bronze system that mm -hmm. Soundsport use. So uh, we spoke to DCI about it and they've actually brought in uh, a new system now where, where you can actually have a, a class that's scored in the same way that drum corps scored. Okay? So that's great because that's exactly what we were looking for. We also wanted to create a bit more of a season in terms of a, a start, a finish, and a defined time. Because, sure. as you know, sound sport could be indoors, outdoors, summer, mm -hmm. winter, whatever. Yeah. Whereas most of us old drum corps lags are used to a season because that's the way we've been brought mm -hmm. up. Okay. And you don't want it to interfere possibly exactly. with the summer season. That's right. Yeah. So what we've come up with, or DCE have come up with, is the concept of the indoor music games. Going back to their original format of indoor drum corps, okay, mm -hmm. but using sound sport as the way of delivering that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the uh, indoor music games will start in uh, February with a show in Ireland. That is planned. That's that planned, already booked. Awesome. Okay. And uh, that'll be in Dublin, so that should be a great weekend, as weekends in Ireland normally are. <laughs> um, and then there'll be uh, hopefully a couple of shows in England, one here in mainland Europe, and the final show will be in Glasgow, Scotland uh, at, uh, in, in May. And that will form a kind of spring season, if you like, slightly overlapping with Winter Guard, but going on into May. And the reason we're doing that is because a couple of cores last year competed in the Bristol show with Sound Sport and then went on to take their show outside. Mm -hmm. They didn't march their full show because Sound Sport's a, a, a shorter time period than mm -hmm. uh, the normal drum corps. But they then went on to take it outside and found that really useful to kind of use it as oh, a sure. warm up yeah. for the summer season. Okay. And what's 
got to be remembered is the whole idea of sound sport and the indoor music games is to grow drum corps. That's what we're here to do. That's right. Get more people involved, get more corps active again, because that's what we all want to see. And if one of the corps that does uh, the indoor music games ends up here competing at DCE or in DC UK, Drum Corps Holland, etc., then we've achieved what we wanted to do. We're growing Drum Corps. Hey, and otherwise, I mean, we uh, we would talk to to Joe and Paul about this. You know, if you look at the the ranking from two years ago yeah. and you look at the top 20, 10 of them are here today. Mm -hmm. So it made us talk a little bit about where are the other Where's 10? the others gone? And, yeah. and sometimes, you know, your your recruitment doesn't go as well. Yeah. You have a smaller yeah, yeah. core. So sometimes you don't feel confident bringing mm -hmm. your, your core out on the field anymore. But then there's really no option to no go position. somewhere and, then, and and build it from yeah. there. You see that with, with, with many cores. You yeah. see it with Beatrix, you see it with Black Knights. Yeah. Where where have they come? They're looking for a place mm -hmm. to actually go. So I think this is a great idea yep. to have like a, a, a back thing yep. going on where they can step into it and then build their organization from there. Is is that absolutely is that no, that's as absolutely right. So you mentioned Beatrix and Black Knights. Now, if they could get involved with the indoor music games, that gives them a platform to come back to, okay? Hopefully they could do that. They may then go on to come back into DCE in future, or they may say, no, we're, we're happy now in this uh, level of competition. It's up to everyone to make that choice. Uh, but, it, as you say, it gives someone uh, a core, a place to come back to mm -hmm. if they want to rebuild for whatever reason. That's that's it's a wonderful idea. So it's going to be under the DCE umbrella. Yep. And uh, uh, it's going to be run in the similar similar way that all the different shows of the certified partners. Yep. Are going to be run. So you're yep. going to have certified partners in in. Is it still like the logo organizations? Is Drum Corps Netherlands and 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 absolutely uh, yeah. DC UK going to pick this up? Absolutely. When we ran the show in Bristol this year, it was ran by uh, DCE, obviously in partnership with DCI because Sound Sport is their thing, so it's mm -hmm. part of the Sound Sport umbrella as well. But in conjunction with DC UK as the uh, national organization for England. DC UK are involved with that one. When we do it in Ireland, it will be with the IMBA. Uh, when sure. it's here in Holland, it'll be with Drum Corps Holland. Yeah. So it'll be DCE, DCI, and the national organization of each country working together. That's great, that's great. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it's a very good thing for Drum Corps over here. Yeah, um, and I wanna thank you for coming thank and explaining it to, to me. I think, you know, like I said, it's a great idea. There's many cores out there that might have been a little bit smaller this year that didn't uh, come out to DCE this year. You have a place to go now. You have a place to go that will foster your growth and maybe uh, one day you'll be back on the field here with us. So yeah. thanks so much, Andy, Thank for coming much. to explain that to us. We'll go back to the studio, and after the studio, Paul and Joe will, uh, uh, or back, to, sorry, to a, a little video, and after that, Paul and Joe will join us again. We'll do some of an analysis of the junior recap, and we'll look at uh, uh, looking forward to what's going to happen tonight. See you in a bit.